Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Debbie Danford from craftiercreations.blogspot.com. I'm coming to you today with a video instead of my live because I have um, radiation appointments for the next three weeks, so my Thursdays are going to be a little mixed up here. And um, the next couple, I might, I might be going live, but it just might be later in the day. But today, I just decided I would get a video done and um, post it so you guys could all have something out there. I'm coming to you with the Changing Leaves Bundle, which this bundle was an online exclusive. Gosh, I think it, I think it was in July that it went live. And I have used it in a couple other videos and I haven't played with it as much as I would have liked to, but I know we're deep into like Christmas cards and holiday cards and that kind of thing. But um, my monthly club chose this bundle this month, which I was a little surprised because, you know, like I said, we are deep into holiday cards, um, but it was fun to play with. And I actually really wanted to do um, a one a stamping one sheet wonder with this, but I, I didn't do it. I at least not yet. I probably still will because I do think these three leaves would make a great one sheet wonder. But I came up with something else, and I, I actually have designed most of the cards for Monthly Club. And if you're not in my Monthly Club and you're interested, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I will post the link below the video so that you can um, go check out the info on it. It's $39 a month. Um, you get the supplies to make five projects, two of each. You get $15 to $20 in product each month. And on your sixth month, I send you... Um, around $25 in free product for a thank you. Um, anyway, I will have that link there and I'd love to have you join my monthly club. I think it's a great way to get inspiration each month. Everything gets mailed out to you on the 25th of the month on or around the 25th. And I let everybody vote on the bundle. We have a private Facebook group where I upload everything too. So if you join, I've been doing this now since, I, th I wanna say three years. Maybe it was 2020 when I started it. So maybe I'm into four years. Gosh, I can't even remember. Um, so that means there's a lot of videos, a lot of PDFs out there that you would get access to when you join my monthly club. So I would love to have you join me. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I really like this leaf here. It's And, and if you search Pinterest for this bundle, you'll see it out there a lot. It, this seems to be the main focal point. Now, this bundle comes with not only the stamp set with some awesome phrases and the three leaves, comes with a hybrid embossing folder. And let me just put this down like that so you can kind of see what's what we've got here. Awesome, awesome emboss, embossing folder. And then it comes along with this, I call it a hybrid because it also has a set of dies that that will die cut, you can emboss and die cut the three main leaves. You could stamp, emboss, die cut all of these three main leaves. And then it comes with some extra um, accent, I like to call them accent leaves, and then some shapes to do some die cutting. So this is definitely one of those that if you don't have it, you should get it. It's it really is an awesome bundle to use. And it doesn't have to be. I'm gonna the colors I'm using today are not even fall colors. I went with a totally different gosh, I can't even get these back in here. I went with a totally different color palette. And do we see blue leaves? Probably not, but we are going to today. So here's the card I made. And yes, blue is my favorite color. Um but I don't know, when I stamped it in the blue, it just stamped so nicely with um, the colors I chose to use. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have my bits and pieces all die cut here. We're starting with a card base that's five and a half by eight and a half. We have a piece of basic white that's gonna be our inside layer, four by five and a quarter. We have a piece of Knight of Navy that I did a couple little die cutting out of the center because we're gonna cover that up. This piece is um, four by five and a quarter, and we're gonna do some stamping on a piece of basic white that's three and three quarters by five. These are from the Unbounded Love, I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Unbounded Love um, ovals that I already did the die cutting on that. And then these were the accent leaves that I did one out of the Night of Navy and a couple out of the basic white. So 
We're going to set those aside there, and I'm going to bring this in. Now, what I'm going to do, we are only using two colors here, and I'm going to use Boho Blue and Night of Navy. And how I do this, and there's, you know, you could probably do it a hundred different ways. Everybody's always got different tips and techniques on how they do certain things. I just smeared, I don't know, all of a sudden there was like blue and I smeared it already. Not that it would matter, but I will flip it. So what I'm going to do, and because this is a little bit bigger stamp, I'm going to take the ink pad to the stamp. I'm going to start with the lighter color, which is the boho blue. And I'm going to ink that up. And then I'm going to take a dauber with Knight of Navy. And I'm just going to daub randomly on here okay and then I'm going to do what we call the huffing just to like um, get the ink moist again <sighs> and then I'm going to stamp one coming down from this direction okay see how doesn't it look so pretty stamped in the blue I know it's not you know a fall color but it's beautiful. Now, because we stamped most of that off, I'm not even going to worry about um, cleaning the stamp. I'm just going to go back over it again with Boho Blue. And then I'm going to take my dauber again and randomly add some Knight of Navy. And this would work with any color combination. Like you could do fall colors with this. You could do you know, greens, oranges, yellows, any of those. And then this time it's going to go right here. Okay. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and bring in that other piece of white. And I'm going to do this same thing one more time because we're going to stamp on the inside. I always want to decorate the inside of your card. So again, we just inked it up and then we're daubing it with the Knight of Navy. And I'm going to go right here in this corner here. And you can see I'm just using my glass mat here, which I love the glass mat. If you don't have a glass mat, I would think about adding this to your craft room, craft repertoire of products. Because you see what I did? I just wiped off what little bit was there. Now, as you can see on here, I did a little bit of flicking with our... I thought I had it out. Well, I'll use this one. You can either use the Stampin' Write markers or our Stampin' Blends. Either one will work. I thought I had the Stampin' Write marker out, but I guess I didn't grab that. So I am going to bring in a scrap piece just to, because these are alcohol-based, so it's a little bit harder to get it off the glass mat. I use the brush tip here. Actually, first, before I do that, I'm going to stamp my phrase. And I'm using the Just a Note from the Simply Said uh, stamp set. And of course you could use, you know, Birthday, Sympathy. There's so many things you could just put on, on this card because just because of the, the layout of it, it, it would work with any kind of phrase. All right, so... I'm going to use the brush tip. And the reason I wanted to stamp this is because I want to do a little bit of flicking on here too. Now, I know some people like to take it and do this. I never, I'm not as good doing it that way. So I tend to flick just like that. And as you noticed, I flicked over here. Didn't mean to flick that much, but I'm going to go ahead and just do some more just to, because... And then what I'm going to do is bring in a blending brush. And then I go and add a little bit of Knight of Navy I used. And I kind of blend. kind of like it with the flicking on the inside. Never thought about that. And then our, our front piece here, I did the same thing. I went around the edges. And I might have used the boho blue on the first one. I don't know around the edges. You could use either color. You could use both. You know, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, so there's that. And there's that. Let's move that out of the way. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attach. Let's go ahead and attach. Oh, where's my adhesive? Here it is. We're going to attach this to here. 
And before we attach these to the back, of course, we're going to paint them with Wink of Stella. I mean, Wink of Stella is the greatest thing ever. It's just an easy way to add a little shimmer and shine to lots of things on your projects, either die cuts or if you've stamped things on your image, you still can even paint them with Wink of Stella. And when your Wink of Stella is empty, don't throw it away. You can go back and add, you could change the color of your Wink of Stella if you want to. You could go back and add just a couple drops of um, alcohol to the inside of it. And then um, um, like refills, from the refills, you could put a drop in there and change it to blue, green, yellow, orange, whatever color you want. So they are they are nice to recycle and, and add some color to them if you wanted to. Okay, so there's the basics here, and I think we're done with this. So I'm going to go ahead and close it up so I don't drop my card into it. We've all done that at least once or twice, probably. And let's do a, some assembly. I like to assemble these parts last. So this is going to go in here. I like to leave my card base flat. I don't burnish it and fold it until I am done. So we're going to go ahead and attach the Night and Navy layer that was four by five and a quarter. Whoops. There we go. And like I said, those die cuts out of the center, That's I do that as often as I can because that's like free landscape that we get to use and no, no sense in wasting it. Okay, then we're going to attach our beautiful stamped piece here on top of that layer. And I like to use the, the Stamp and Seal Plus, but definitely, you know, whatever your favorite adhesive is. I use the green mono glue sometimes too, but my go-to is the Stamp and Seal Plus. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just add a little bit of adhesive behind here, and then... I'm going to go ahead and decide how I want to attach these to the back. And sometimes I may, you know, you may have to go back and add a little bit more adhesive. So what I do is kind of decide how I want them on here. And then I attach a little bit more behind here. And of course, anytime you have, or I shouldn't say anytime, most of the time when you have a die cut phrase, I use dimensionals behind it because you want to pop it up. At least that's what I do, but I'm a dimensional. Here, we're going to cut this one in half and always use every little square inch of those dimensionals. You cut around the edges, use all of that. It's all usable. As you can see, I've cut the rest of all of these. I don't have very many left on this one. I order dimensionals, I think, every time I put an order in. Because you're you're like at whatever the dollar amount is you're at, and then you're like, oh, you only need a couple more dollars to get to this or that, or maybe you only have a couple. You need to spend a couple more dollars on your stamp and rewards or something like that. But yeah, I get dimensionals all the time, and I usually include dimensionals quite often in packets, class packets, and those kind of things. So, because it's one of our go-to staples, and then I just put that right there in the center just like that okay now if you wanted to you could have reversed this and like put the stems in the middle because you're going to cover it up but I was kind of stamping my stems off so it didn't matter hang on one of the dogs just came in the door Go away, Emma. sorry about that and I didn't want it to get cold in here um, now I used these beautiful adhesive back texture dots and the reason um, I stuck with it even when I made this card and I colored them on here with the Stampin' Blends. It's probably hard to see. Let's see if you can see that. Um, and yes, I could have pulled in some of our pearls or something white or some other color, but I stuck with this because they're going to get a packet of these in the monthly club. So what I wanted to show is that you can take one of the Stampin' Blends and you can color these, even though they are more of a um, rustic. I don't even know what color you want to call them, honestly. I want to say they're kind of a brass color in a way, but um, 
I colored them and they actually, although in the video you may not be able to tell as well, they actually color quite nicely and the blue does look good even though you can still see a hint of that undertone with it. So um, always keep in mind with the Stampin' Blends because they're alcohol based that you can color almost all of our um, like um, bling bling things. Some some don't co color as nicely as others, but um, for the most part, I have always found that it's it they're it's easy to color with them. All right, so there's that. Now let's flip this over, and then we're going to go ahead and add this to our inside. I kind of like the splatter, something different. And then I burnish. And then there's our beautiful card with the changing leaves bundle. Isn't it just so pretty? I'm telling you, the blues are, you know, I don't dislike the leaves in blue. You know, that's the nice thing about stamping is anything goes. Christmas trees can be pinks and purples if you want them to. And I mean, the sky's the limit on, on what color we can stamp anything. And sometimes it's really fun to stamp things in a color that you wouldn't suspect um, to see it in. So thank you so much for joining me today. And like I said, I will be back with lives. It's just a matter of my scheduling going on right now. Hopefully you enjoy this. Please like it, share it, all those good things, and follow me out on Facebook and YouTube, Crafty Your Creations with Debbie. And um, like I said, if you want info on my monthly club, please fill out the, you know, um, go to the link and you can fill out the form or you can contact me with questions about it. I'm more than happy to answer any questions about how my monthly club works. And you can always try it once. If you don't like it, you, you don't, you know, there's no commitment. It's just if you do stay for six months, then you get a little extra bonus out of it. But there's no commitment for you to stay. Try it. See if you like it. I would love to have you join me. Anyway, I hope you all have a great, great Thursday. And I will see you again soon. Bye, guys.